Okay. Oh dear. Right, just bear with me. I think I've got that bit too zoomed in. Yeah, this is the. That's better. Let's go with there. That's good. We can go with that. Right, let me just leave this here a second. I'll show you properly in a minute. Let me just catch up. Bear with, bear with. Right, how is everybody? How are we all? It's half term holidays here, so you have to bear with me. My brain is a bit frazzled. But anyway, hi Vicky. You are early, but that's fine. Hi Mandy. Um, yep, cool. We've got people in. Hi Shelley. And where is everyone? I don't know, Vicky, but I know in the UK, some of the UK is um, half term holiday right now. So maybe some of the UK lot who've got kids or grandkids, they might be. I know part of the UK, the half term was last week, but part of this, the part of it is this week. So I don't know. Um, and usually as well, when I do a uh live stream and it's a half term holiday i was doing them at half seven at night but i just decided because i went to bed quite late last night and i thought if i try and do one at half seven tonight i don't know what language i'm going to be talking i'll be all over the place so i thought let me just do it now it's just easier so yeah hi karen in arkansas 6 30 a.m oh my goodness that's so early hi dale in arizona at 7 30 with you mandy okay cool hi marianne in the netherlands um oh, 5 30 in arizona my days hi mary goodness good day shall see everyone's coming now everyone's coming now oh, that's good i shall show you this in a minute this was something uh, from the top view it looks a bit weird um i'll show you it in a moment but um it's something that i saw on pinterest hi sally um it's like i saw on pinterest and there was a comment below it saying where's the tutorial please and there was no tutorial so i thought right perfect chance for me to have a go then so um yeah so i've made i think somebody's done a tutorial somewhere but i think it was in french so anyway hi cindy 7 30 wow okay not too bad uh hi chris um and nola hi nola uh so yeah so i thought we'd give this one a go so i shall just hold on a moment about two more minutes and then i'll show you what it looks like You've probably already seen it. I don't know if you guys might have seen it already. I'm not sure. But yeah, so uh, we're going to have a go. I've only made two of them. This is my second proper one. I made a prototype out of sample papers. Um, but yes. And the paper pad you would have seen at the beginning. I'll quickly show you my new purchase. I went to the range yesterday. And I bought some little letter tiles. And I also bought this paper pad. I couldn't resist it because it looks too nice good old craft sensations again it was like 3.99 it wasn't very much but um i'm gonna quickly show you the papers they're so nice i was flicking through going oh yeah they're quite nice oh yeah they're quite nice oh foiling hello and then uh oh hello <laughs> and then what really got me was it's coming up in a minute it's the striped one so that was pretty look how gorgeous that is and then i got to this one here and then was like oh now that that is something else. The blue into pink, and then you've got a silver stripe on it. Don't even know if you guys can see it properly. Oh my goodness me. So nice. And that one as well with the foliage. Oh, so nice. And the arrows. Oh my goodness. And that one. Oh, just like yes. Yes. So yeah, I ended up getting it. That's it's me $3.99. And I've had a big colour of my paper pads recently, so I thought I can afford to do it for that. Um Yes, Karen, it is very, it's, it's, oh, I see, very interesting. Yes, what, what we're making is very interesting. Um, Yvonne, hello, hello. Oh, Mary, you're sitting in hospital. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I'm sorry that you're in hospital. I hope you're feeling better soon. Dear me. Hi, Beppy in Holland. Um, right, so I shall do the big reveal now of what we're making. So we are making, um, I did actually put it in so in the description below you've got all the measurements and i put what it's what it is so i think it's called um a tulip bar a triple tulip bars or something like that i've called it a triple step bars but that is what it looks like hopefully you can see it so yeah that angle there there not quite there no there there you are that's the kind of angle 
that really shows it off. So it's like a triple step vase, but I thought it'd be quite nice for Mother's Day coming up and also for um, Easter, maybe. Might be quite good for Easter. I just really liked it. I just thought it was really pretty. So that's what we're doing today. So, yeah, and it's relatively easy, actually. It reminds me a lot of the um, slatted basket that I did a while ago, uh, many years ago, actually. I don't know if I have one anywhere. No, I don't. Um, Easter basket. It reminds me a lot of that. So, um, but also I was thinking with this, because I don't, I don't know what the measurements are supposed to be. So I've made up my own measurements. Um, you could put in, coming out of here, you can make some little paper paper flowers, like origami tulips and stuff like that, which is was my next step. I haven't got around to doing it yet with, with holidays and whatever. Um, or you could fill it up with little treats if you wanted to. Um, I thought it might be quite nice if you used cellophane and had little treat bags inside with like, you know, sort of coming up from the top. That might be quite nice. One of my craft ladies also mentioned about, you know, the, um, the room diffusers. Uh, if you made one that fitted a room diffuser and then the sticks could come out of it, just did like a single one. So I am going to have another play with this and I'm going to um, I'm going to do a single one and make it bigger so that it actually fits something. So I'm going to have a play and see what we can make it fit. But yeah, and the video that I'm going to do for this, I'm going to make it slightly bit bigger. So instead of being these are an inch and a half, I'm going to make them two inches by two inches. Um, and I'm going to go slightly off piste a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit off piste. But yeah, um, the papers. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Thank you. Um, okay, uh, Joke Mulder, you've got the colour paper. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's really nice. Um, yeah, it is, Vicky, isn't it? It's a very unique design. I should say, I saw it on Pinterest. And it was a French lady. I think she was called Laurence Pasquier. Pas I, I'm not very, my French is not good. Pasquier, Pas... I don't know. Anyway, that's her name. That's who I saw do it. And she'd seen a blog, someone called Molly, somebody or other. Molly, not sure. Anyway, um, but yeah, there was no, there didn't seem to be any tutorial anywhere. Um, so, yeah. So the papers that I've used for this, this is actually, um, oh, goodness me. These are some card. It's actually card, not paper. Uh, that I was given ages ago from the Swindon ladies, good old Swindon ladies. And this is also Swindon Lady. This is that lilac colour block pad. Now, actually, me going into the range actually was quite useful because, just so you guys know, because I keep, I always use these papers. So I was given, let me pull them all out. Oh, bear with a second. I pull them out. That one and that one there. So I always use... Let me just move this to one side. These, I use these an awful lot. So this pink colour block, the purple colour block, the blue, and also the green. I use these loads because they're 230 GSM. They're double-sided, so you can have the plain or you can have a patterned. And I just find them really useful. So that's what I've used the purple one for this vase. Um, so I find them really useful. So just so you know, if you want to get these, they are available in the range. OK, they have got them in. So that's good. The other thing as well is I've used this one quite a bit recently. I can't. I think I used it on the I used it on this one, the, the diamond card, the um, stacked triple diamond card, six by six one. And again, this paper pad here, which is absolutely beautiful. And again, I got I actually bought this a while ago now, but it's still in the range. So if you do want to get it, it's available in the range, those of you in the UK. But it's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that's just a little side note for you. Side note. So yeah, so this was, um, I think these are hunky-dory card, I'm not sure. And then this, as I say, was the purple block. Also, my little caveat I have to give at the beginning of every live stream. This is a live stream, it's not a tutorial. So there will be lots of conversation, lots of chat. If you don't like chat, there will be a tutorial coming soon. Um, or you can just forward through the live stream and skip the chatty bits. Right, that's my caveat over. So, okay, yes, Mary, body spray would be great. Hand cream, yep, yeah, that would all look amazing. That would all look really good. That would be amazing. Right, okay, so for today's one, I thought instead of using paper here, I'm going to use acetate because I have some printed acetate that is from, I believe it was a. Hunky door, it's this one here. 
it's a little pack hunky dory it's a hunky dory it doesn't say any more on it than that and it was like a mix pack of different rose gold printed acetate and it also had rose gold foil in it as well and i bought it from a, a craft show i think it was the nec actually and it was reduced down to 5.99 from 11.99 so i thought that was quite good so i'm going to be using that so this is the this is the um acetate i'm using i put it on that on a might be able to see it that way i don't know how well you can see it but anyway using that and then i'm also going to be using some christmas paper <laughs> i know it's not christmas but i figured i might be able to get away with it so um yeah so i'm using this one here which is from christmas bell i think it was i've had a big clear out of my um paper my card recently so i haven't got as much as i had before um and it's got this on the inside i'm not a big fan of fairies however i thought if they go on the inside of the vase um, I can always cover them up with panels if I really don't like them. But I did quite like the stars, and I just thought that the stars with these as the strips would be quite nice because it's it's subtle enough; it doesn't interfere too much with the busyness of the acetate for the pattern. So um, yeah, right. So let's get scoring. Vicky, you're very you've got very little interesting cards looking in in ours. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I have to say, you know what, UK, we've gone downhill. <laughs> we have gone downhill because we used to have um, the range used to do loads more than it does now. The range is really cut down. They used to be in the Midlands anyway. I'm not sure about anywhere else in the country, but there used to be a, a stationery shop called Osborne's. And they used to have loads of really good uh, do crafts and dove craft, trim craft, all kinds of different, you know, Tim Holtz, loads of different things. Um, but they're not around anymore. Um b and does certain bits, um, the works is, is, is quite good for that kind of thing. Not wonderful, but I have to say we've seen a, quite a big decline. We've seen quite a big decline on um, on places that do it here. Hobbycraft as well, Hobbycraft's gone downhill. Um, although I have to say it kind of has its peaks and troughs actually. I was going to go in recently to my local one, but didn't. I didn't have time in the end, but um, yeah. They vary, they all vary, but I have to say that I think because quite a few of the craft companies since COVID, they've actually stopped, um, they've stopped, you know, selling, like making paper pads. So that's the problem. So there's not really anything for people to stock. Right. Yeah, exactly. Hobbycraft does have very little paper craft stuff in. It's, it's a lot of cricket. They've got a lot of cricket stuff. They've got um, textiles, things like that. But um, yeah, I've been very disappointed with Hobbycraft. The only thing I do like them for is for their, I don't know if they still do them, the paper pads that are mixed. I've shown you them before. They're the ones that have got like, um, they do tonal. So they've got like a blue pack, a purples pack, a greens pack, etc. And they do a couple of multicolour packs. I know they've changed over the years. They're quite thin. They're about 180 GSM, the, the card in it, the paper. But it can be useful for matting. Um, so yeah. Right. So let's get on with our scores. So we'll start with the biggest one. So this biggest piece, this is the tallest one, is eight inches tall by six and a half wide. Now they're all going to be six and a half wide. It's literally the height that changes. So on the six and a half inch edge, you're going to score at one and a half, at three, at four and a half, and at six. And then if you turn it, so your tabs at the bottom, your half inch is at the bottom. And at the bottom, you are going to score it at, she says, looking at her little notes, you're going to score it at half an inch and at two. Okay, like that. So that's that piece done. So let's do the next one. Um, right, the next one, again, this one is going to be six and a half by six and a half. And again, as long as you go it the right way, because I've got a right way up on the inside. As long as you get the right way up, you can do the same score lines again. So half, one and a half. Um, I think I'm a bit wonky there. One and a half, three, four and a half, and six. Um, yeah, Mary, I have the same problem. Um, and what I tend to do is I use my, if I get Hobbycraft voucher, because I've got a card for them, I use it on adhesives. Because I find their adhesives are really good. Like their red tapes and double sides and whatever. They do some good bargains online. So I tend to spend it on that. Um, right, I've turned it round. So the tab's at the bottom again. And we're going to score again at half inch and at two inches. Okay, so that's that one done. 
then we're going to use the smallest one and the smallest one is uh, five inches by six and a half so six and a half is the width always the width and then the height is five and again we're going to score one and a half at three four and a half and at six and then we're going to do the same again turn it round so the tabs at the bottom and we're going to score half an inch and at two okay so it's quite easy relatively easy now then i'm going to use the trimmer part of my scoreboard now uh shelly yeah i have to say having a, only a week to spend it in is really that's too much because it's usually too busy i don't have time to i want to have a you know have a look actually if i know that that's happening then i'll try and look on the site a bit before my birthday so then when the voucher comes through i know exactly what i want to get because <laughs> otherwise it's not happening right so on this smaller piece i've got a half inch tab here and a half inch tab here so it's kind of on this left bottom side so what we're going to do is this two inch line that we did along the bottom here we're going to cut down there until we reach this square here i'm hoping you can see my score lines but i have a feeling you might not be able to but i'm going to cut it and then hopefully you can see what i mean so we're going to cut down to here like that okay so hopefully you can see that and i haven't cut very well because i've actually cut a little bit too cut sort of not in the middle of the score line i've kind of cut on the score line but anyway so then what i'm going to do is where that score line is so i've got a score line here so here's my tab line that's my big like section it's one and a half and then that's my score line there i want to cut half an inch because you want to cut your tab i just want to cut half an inch it doesn't matter if it's wonky it's your tab okay and you end up with that and then i'm going to put red tape on these before we notch it all out so i'm going to stop there for now okay and then we're going to move on to the next one so the next one we'll do the same again so we've got it with the tab on the left and the bottom and you're going to literally cut down this score line the two inch score line until you meet the second from last line going the other way so not the tab score line the other line until you reach there because the idea is this is going to be the base of your um box and i'm hoping you can see the score lines if you can't see the score lines that i've got please tell me now and i'll try and draw something on although as i'm cutting hopefully you should be able to see so if you can see i've cut one two three squares down and i've stopped and then i'm going to cut where that's that score that one two that third score line is i'm just going to cut half an inch away from that score line like that to kind of make a tag on it um don't worry vicky that's fine good to have you hi sweet pea you made it oh winter storm coming oh happy days you can see them fine karen good because just my screen's really like fuzzy so i can't see <laughs> i can't see anything okay so then we're going to do the same with this one so this one is i guess is the big one and again you've got the tab on the left and the tab on the bottom so we're going to turn it round, and on that bottom section you're going to score three boxes down and stop so that's the first box that's the second box that's the third box and stop oops daisy and then we're going to cut from that third score line half an inch to the right hello karen good to see you okay so let me put my scoreboard away you can see today's make yep indeedy let me find it so this is today's make it's a triple tulip vase uh i think i called it a triple stepped vase but it's it's actually called a tulip vase I'm trying to get a good angle of it so you can actually see it there yeah, about there oh no about there where well, i had it just then there's a bit of a delay uh, yeah about there there you go that's the best way to see it so that's what we're making karen um sally you asked where i got my blades from my scoreboard um, I haven't ordered any for a while, to be honest with you, because I don't often use the trimming bit on my scoreboard because quite often it makes it rough. It depends on the card because this is cut relatively well, but sometimes it cuts really bad. It depends on the it really does depend on the card. But um, yeah, so um, I think you can get them from now. Let me think. Someone I saw recently, I think you might have even been. Hmm, I'm trying to think who I saw it. I remember seeing it and thinking, oh, they still sell them. 
I'm not sure. And the other thing as well with those We Are Memory Keeper boards, because there's a couple of um, different designs of scoreboard, you have to make sure you get the, the right one. Because mine, mine flips here and then this obviously flips over, but some of them flip here. So the hinge is like here. Um, and they also don't have this section under here to keep your your thing in and I've actually written you see here I've written my blade reference on the bottom deliberately because I didn't want to um I didn't want to forget what mine was so yeah uh yeah Karen this is what this is what I was thinking um my life for me the live is not a great definition but I think that might just be my my wi-fi um, and my tutorial is always clear because I think it's I'm not actually using Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm recording it as a video and then editing it and then uploading it. So I think that might be why the definition where this is live. So therefore it's having to rely on my on how good my um, my Wi-Fi is. So I think that's what it is. I'm not entirely sure. Not being a tech expert and all that. Um, right. I'm going to put some red tape now down this side tab. And then down that bit there and that bit there. You don't have to worry about the two little corners. You don't need that. But if you put your red tape on first before you notch, that is better. It just is easier. It's easier to cut tapes like you know straight uh, rather than trying to cut it at an angle to accommodate your notch. So, yeah. Right. So that's what I've ended up with. So then what we're going to do is just going to notch all of these tab pieces. Um, and I'm actually gonna. No, I'm not gonna do that way. I'm gonna do this way. Just want to notch these out, and then oh, notch all these out here. And then this one here, I'm gonna fold it along the line, and then notch it because it does two at once. So it does both of those. If you just fold it along that line, it just makes it a little bit easier. And then we just need to notch this one here. Okay, so that is that, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, should I uh, let me red tape them all first, and then we'll put them all together. So we're going to repeat the process on the middle one. So you're going to put your red tape down the side like that. Stop when you get to the little square at the bottom. You don't need to do the little square. You can use wet glue if you want, but I prefer red tape because with boxes, I want them to be stuck straight away. Um, you can use red tape if you want to, if you, if you get on better with that. Okay, so that's that. And then we just need to go ahead and notch these out. Does anybody else have problems with the definition on a live stream? I'm sure it is because of my Wi-Fi or just wi-fi generally um but yeah but i know i do looking at it i have problems right let's just get rid of these ones so that's number two and then we've got the last one there we go and also because i've got two i've got two um devices using wi-fi in this room because i've got my phone that's filming that's actually sending you it and then i've also got my tablet here which is viewing it as if you're viewing it so that's the other problem i haven't worked out how to use these live stream software things yet <laughs> i have tried but not with any success um i think that as well part of it is definite like definition settings or whatever on your tablet you can set the definitions on there but um but yeah I know some people can see me fine, other people can't. So I think it is down to Wi-Fi. I do think it is a Wi-Fi issue. Because my Wi-Fi is not the fastest. And I think if, if your Wi-Fi is not great, then that will have a bearing on your live stream experience. Right, that's that. And then I just need to do this top one, which I forgot on the other one. So let's do that there. And I need to do this one here as well. Okay, so that's all of our, I've got a nice sticky scissors now. I should have wiped them before I did all this, but anyway. Um, right, so that's all of our 
tabs done. I shall have to clean that later. Um, right, let's give it a minute bit. Oh, okay. So, hello, Mary. It's all clear for Sweet Pea, Vicky, and Ali. Cool. Um, you enjoy my chat? Good, I'm glad. I'm glad somebody is. <laughs> right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to score and burnish all of our lines and they're all going to be mountain folds everything's a mountain fold let me get my little scrawler out again oh gosh can't get it out there we go there it is well shelly i will be doing a video for this so if you're having troubles now then in a few weeks or a couple of weeks I will do a video for this anyway. I'm going to do a slightly larger one for the video, but I will give them well the measurements for this and the score lines and everything are on are in the description below. So if you need to check those out, then they're in there. And then when I do the video, I'm going to do the same thing again, but I'm just going to do a slightly larger version. Um, and then in a week or so, I'm going to do a single one that will be quite a bit larger. Because I feel like this vase has quite a lot of uh Quite a lot of whatever the word is. <laughs> you tell my brain's not working. You know, you're saying about the screen being fuzzy. My brain's a bit fuzzy. <laughs> and that doesn't use Wi Fi, <laughs> but it is fuzzy. <laughs> oh dear. There's a word and I can't think what it is I'm trying to say. Deary me. Have I done all my. No, not quite. Right, I've done that one. Let's do this one. There we go. That's that one. And that's that one. Right. Okay. Don't worry, Beth. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. Long weekends. Um, right. So, Beth, we're making one of these. Let me show you again. We're making one of these. We're making a triple tulip vase. Stepped triple tulip vase. I don't know what you call it. But this is what we're making. So this is what we're making and I'm going to be doing today's one I'm not using paper I'm actually using acetate for my strips so yeah Shelley that's a good idea you know I do that with other people's live streams I what if it's a bit tricky I will watch it um yeah I'll watch it a couple of times first make sure I can get my head around it and then I'll uh, <laughs> have a go right now I'm going to take off all of the backing first um i'm going to take off all the backing because i find it easy to do this otherwise i can't get the pin under when i've got it mid-air so i'm going to take all my backing off and i'm just going to have to be really careful um karen that's good yeah i i try and do it for live streams because obviously when i do a tutorial all of the measurements go on the screen um and so but obviously for uh lives i can't do that so yeah, so that's why I put it in the description so you guys can, can work out how to do it. So what I'm going to do is I've taken all the backing off these, so I need to be really careful because they're all sticky. I'm going to fold this over, bring this round, and just start to stick these edges onto those tabs to make up our box. Now, obviously, because they're very sticky, you do have to be careful. And then when you get to this last edge, if you fold them both down roughly where they need to go, and then just put the top down and just make sure ooh, make sure you don't stick it wonky which is what i'm about to do here we go let's just undo that you can stick it nice and square there like that and then just get your finger in and press it down as we get a bit bigger you won't be able to stick your finger in and press it down um okay so that's our first little bit of vase so I'm going to put that to one side and carry on with the other three. Hi, Valerie. Um, don't worry, Louise. At least you're here. Don't worry. Um, thank you, Mary. It is. I think I just I thought that's why I thought we'd do it because I thought it's just a nice one with Mother's Day coming up and obviously with Easter as well. It would fit for both of those and it would also fit for just a birthday or especially. I, I was also thinking for like a get well, especially for someone in hospital like like mike mary <laughs> like yourself um yeah because it's sort of it's kind of flowery and you could make some paper flowers to go inside um and then cause i know some hospitals have you know well, most hospitals i think have a ban on having flowers in the 
in the hospital. So that way you could have something nice and they could then take it home and have it on their mantelpiece later. So I just thought it was quite a nice little, nice little design. Right, this third bit is a bit tricky. I try and stick the bottom section there and then stick the side. It just means you have to hold the side tab kind of away. My head gets in the way, I do apologise. There. There we go. And then I'm just going to get my um, get my metal ruler, because that's not going to snap. I'm going to stick it in there and just press down to make sure it's all stuck down. Okay, so there's your middle one. That's your middle one done. And then we're going to do the big one. Oh. So let's oh, flip this off here. There we go, almost done. Let's take these off here as well. Oh, 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 oh dear. <laughs> I thought I picked it up and I didn't. What's in there? There we go. And this one here. This is the last one. Now, there's one thing I need to add on to this that I didn't add on on my original. Um, because my original one was the first one I've made of a proper one. So... I wasn't aware of all the pitfalls at that point. All right, let's get this down like that. Oh, I'm sticking to my fingers. Ugh. Okay, that's there like that. And then let's get this lined up. There we go. There we go. Let's get the ruler in there just to press down. Yep. Okay, so you've now got your three vases. Okay. So. Oh, I think there's one little bit of red tape everywhere. There we go. Right, so before we stick them together, I think we just kind of need to work out where our front is which one's going to go on the front or which one's going to go on the back now before actually because you can't see the tab very well but it's actually a tab there so on my lilac one i had it so the tab was at the front but that does mean you end up with a cut edge at the front so i think this time around i'm going to do it like uh i think i'm going to do it like that and have it just on the side because then the cut edge is here so if i just turn all these round so i've got it on the side side there that like that that like that and that's on the side so that's going to be the front of all of my um vases right so let's score the strips so your strips now you can use card you can use vellum which i'm going to be doing on my video you can use acetate you can use whatever you want really you don't want anything too wobbly um, but this is quite decent. Um, you're going to ask me what um, what thickness this acetate is, and I don't know because it doesn't actually say. Um, so you're going to need for this three strips that are one and a half by seven, and these are for your front um, pieces. So that's for your smallest vase. Then you need two pieces that are one and a half by eight and a half. And then you need three pieces that are one and a half by ten. Okay, now we're going to have to score, um, and scoring acetate is going to be fun, but we are going to have to score them all. So let me just turn my scoreboardy thingy rod round, and let's just stack them all up again. And I think I'll score, score them on the side where the the foiling isn't, just in case I scratch the foiling off. And these are all going to be scored at one and a half along the long edge. In fact, I've just gone ahead and... No, I need to go to around. Here we go. So one and a half, like that. And then he's going to fold... Oh, where are we? There. Oh, I don't like scoring acetate. Let me do that a bit better. Let's really go for it. There we go. One and a half. And then we're just going to fold that and burnish okay like that now I quite like the rounded corners on that other one 
but I didn't really want to go around and round all my corners on my acetate so I might well leave them as they are so no let's go I'm going to go ahead now and just score all of these at one and a half inches along the long edge uh where are we I can't even see my score lines <laughs> oh maybe acetate wasn't a good idea one two uh three how's everyone's weather we always discuss weather don't we how's everyone's weather where you are we had a lovely sunny day yesterday and today it's kind of gray but the sun is trying to come out it was actually really warm yesterday it's about 14 degrees here um so how's everybody else doing with their weather let me know it's always a good good topic of conversation isn't it weather so let me know how you're getting on has anybody got any spring flowers popping up as well I've got a whole heap of crocuses out the front, which is very nice. Purple and, oh no, all purple actually. Purple ones. And then I've also got some um, daffodils as well that are trying to pop up that are in bud. So I'm glad about that. It's nice to see a spring flower. Ali, dull and damp in Bristol. Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's dry here and it does look like it's brightening up now, so I'm hopeful. That we're going to get a bit of sunshine hopefully my son really wants to go to the skate park again so it does need to be yesterday was perfect for for all of that um shelly your daffodils have started blooming too yeah mine are in bud uh, it's very nice um karen you aren't having unseasonably warm days in arkansas and you're, oh great hyacinths yeah actually yeah <laughs> i've got a great hyacinth uh, no it's not a great a normal hyacinth i've got uh, a pink one very nice Certain people who are what if they're watching will know why. Not everyone will, but yeah. Cool. Um, the sun is shining, but a bit cold. Daffodils are looking lovely. That's Valerie, fantastic. Uh, Beth, cloudy. Oh, expecting up to 12 inches of snow Wednesday into Thursday. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you do need spring. Goodness gracious. 12 inches of snow. That is a lot of snow that's a paper pad's worth of snow that is goodness gracious that's a lot of snow <laughs> that's a lot of snow oh my days i've just realized some of these i've folded the wrong way let's fold them that way there we go there's the fold that the right way around nope folded these the wrong way around i need the foiling on the outside is that the right way nope that's the wrong way as well um very warm yesterday but snow and rain today thursday all day snowstorm in massachusetts oh my goodness wow uh karen you've had a few really cold snaps but fairly mild winter in new york okay apart from that did you get affected karen by that big massive snowstorm that happened because i know new york was affected by that I was just wondering if you were affected by that. Um, and <laughs> well, Louise, you know, it's my job. That's all I think. Whenever I think in inches, it's always because of pads, paper pads. <laughs> uh, Cindy, 62, point, 62 Fahrenheit with a high of 69 Fahrenheit and mostly cloudy. Okay, cool. I don't know again. I, I, I haven't got my little, my little um, thingy bob. Conversion, that's the word I'm looking for. I haven't got my little conversion chart. Right, so I'm going to stick these things down now. Now, with my paper one, I did actually use wet glue, but because I'm using acetate, I can't use wet glue. So I'm going to use red tape. So I'm going to put my red tape on. The only problem with red tape is you can't get it, like, you can't wiggle it around to get it right. You have to get it right first time. So that's the problem with this. But anywho, we're going to carry on anywho. We're going to carry on anyway. And hope for the best. Okay. Um, <laughs> exactly, Mary. I'm sure we all thought. We all thought. Well, I, I know I did. <laughs> um, Carrie, you on Long Island? You didn't get hit. Oh, I'm glad about that. I'm glad about that because it did sound pretty awful. 24 degrees. Oh, wow. That's nice then. 24 degrees C. Ooh, that's a nice temperature. 24 degrees C is very nice. That's comfortable, that is. That's about my temperature. 
can't go too hot. It just doesn't agree with me. Right, so I've taken the backing off. Um, now I'm going to do my front one first. So I'm going to get my strip, make sure that it's, because this is my little flappy bit, and I'm going to turn it on its end, and then this is going to go on here like that and stick it down. And then I'm going to put another bit of red tape and stick this one on and then stick this one on. Um, I was like New York had tons of snow. Yeah. Um, Sally, same thing as you. Lovely day yesterday, but dull and grey today. Got snowdrops, crocuses and daffodils popping up. And my uh, sailing is in bud too. Wow, that's nice. I do like a, I do like a daffodil. I love a crocus. There's a few of them near here. Just like whole swathes of them. Um, yellow ones and purple ones and I went down I was actually driving up to Tamworth on Sunday and my goodness all along the side of the road there was like a whole load of yellow purple and white all crocuses all together all mixed in they look wonderful look really really nice and I know in Cambridge where I used to live um, all down by the banks of the uh, of King's College like the colleges and that the backs of the colleges there's loads of crocuses down there and snowdrops and all sorts it looks amazing so if you're around Cambridge or you're visiting Cambridge go and check it out because it looks good but I'm going to take the next one and this one's going to go on here like this oh now these seem a little bit too wide I don't know that one should be right there we go that's there we go you put over 500 bulbs in last year. Squirrels ate everything. Ah, oh, blooming squirrels. Squirrels are cute and fluffy, but they are a pest. They are a pest. Um, oh, yeah, Ali, I get that. See, I didn't. I used to really struggle with inches because I, I got taught in centimetres growing up. So I really struggled to start with. But because with card making, everything's kind of like, you know, an 8-inch paper pad, 12-inch. So in the end, I thought, I'm, I'm going to need to learn. So... <laughs> I taught myself so now I, I struggle with centimeters uh, it depends on what I'm doing if I'm doing like measuring a room or something then I'm into meters and centimeters but um, anything card making has to be in inches uh, I just yeah go a bit blank hi Rita don't worry don't worry you're better late than never I will show you what we're making in a minute let me just stick this last one on let me swizzle this around. This looks a bit weird at the moment, I know, but you'll be thinking, what on earth are they making today? Right, let me stick this one down. There we go. So we should end up with that. Looks weird, but that's what you should end up with. And then what we're going to do is we need to put a line. Um, uh, I need to put a line of red tape all around this edge this top edge here well we can put it actually just on I don't know we'll just go all the way around actually I was going to say just on one edge but no you can go all the way around it's fine let's go all the way around like that my scissors are going to need some serious cleaning after today oh there we go um what size is a C5 card in inches? I don't know, Valerie. I'd have to look it up. I'd have to Google that because I really don't know. I always struggle when people talk about A2 um, cards because for me, an A2 is twice is three times the size of a no, it's twice the size of an A3. An A3 is twice the size of an A4. So I get confused because I know obviously um, A2 sizes are different in America than they are over here. I'm not really explaining what I'm doing as I'm going, am I? Um, so I'm just, <laughs> I've put a line of tape and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and you just have to curve this over and you're going to line up that crease line on your strip. You're going to line that up with the top of your um, vase as you go round. Um, yeah, 26 is nice. Oh, lovely and warm. Fabulous. 26, 24, that's a nice temperature. That is a nice temperature. I'm just going to take the rest of that off. 
right that's my back bit there so let's put this one on here right so now because you've stuck this down in a minute the next bit i didn't do on my other one so oh, i like the acetate acetate's looking well good i do feel like these needed to be rounded edges but anywho i don't really want to go around and round my edges now so we're going to leave them as they are um sorry rita you haven't seen we are making a if anyone else has joined just we're making a triple tulip vase this is what it looks like hopefully you can see it but yeah that's what we're making so we're just doing this first one here and i've actually because this one here is card but on the one i'm doing i've actually decided to use printed acetate so that's what it looks like and it was something i'd seen online and there was no tutorial for it so perfect chance for me to get in there so that's what i'm doing <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to just fold these flaps up and I'm going to put another line of tape and then I'm going to put ribbon around the outside here because with this one I feel like these are just about ready to pop off so I think if we put some acetate on them that will help not acetate some ribbon on them that will help hold them down so I've got this roll smirk it was one I was given from the Swindon ladies funnily enough um, so I'm going to use that because it's just the right colour so yeah I saw it Rita and I thought oh that looks nice very springy great for Mother's Day great for Easter great for any occasion really so yeah so we give that a whirl right let's just quickly go around here and just make sure I've got enough yeah that there let's just cut this off here Right, okay, and then I'm going to add some um, red tape. Now, this one is about the right thingy bob width, but it's, I'm a bit concerned it might be a little bit too wide. I'm sure I must have another red tape that is the right size. Oh, I'll just use the thin one, it's fine. Let's use the thin one. So I'm going to do the same again. Let's start at the back, though. And just put a line of red tape all the way around, all the way around here, like this, all the way around. There we go, like that, and then finish off here. There we go, yeah, exactly, Rita. We were having this discussion. Um, great for hospitals. We we're thinking about making like you could do like origami tulips for it or origami some kind of origami flower paper flower for it to go inside like a kusadam flower something like that um, and i've also decided that i'm going to do a, a single version as well just a single tulip vase and make it a little bit bigger and maybe you could put like hand cream in it or room diffuser or i don't know something nice <laughs> or fill it with treats right so let's add that onto there like that Pull this back and then stick this over the top, making sure I line it up along the top as we go. Hi, Marion. Glad you could join us. Uh, oh, oh, this ribbon is looking really posh. This is. There we go, like that. And then oh, I've done it a bit too long. I don't need it quite that long. There we go and then fold it around here like that right so there's the first one done so on your front one your little one you just have three sides okay so there's the first one done it's very pretty i'm liking the look of this okay and then we're going to move on to the middle one now the middle one there's my front so these two here are the only two sides that need to have um the acetate on like that so i'm gonna go this acetate now i got this from a craft show it's a hunky dory acetate um i don't know what it's called though because the pack oh, doesn't say let me grab it it was this pack here it's got lots of different printed rose gold acetate in it and then it also had um some rose gold foiled card in the back but i've no idea i've no idea what 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 it's what it's called um 
yeah the ribbon actually really helps i think the ribbon is really nice and i wish i could add it onto my other one my lilac one but i can't really because you kind of need to put it on before you stick the whole thing together because you really want it to be encompassed around the back of the you know around the back of the each vase um the only one we're going to not be able to do that for is for the tallest one because that's gonna you're gonna see all the way around on that but we can hide it it's fine we can hide it behind something um sally no i haven't got a magnolia tree i'd love one next door but one to me they've got a magnolia tree um but i don't think there's anything happening on it at the moment let's have a look nope nothing i can't see there might be a few buds Ooh. but um i can't really see anything much uh, that's the front there so let's turn this over here let's just take this off there we go and then let's stick this on has it grown after being planted in the ground um well my mum and dad have got one and there's but this has been there a while and it's beautiful it looks really nice and my brother i think has a magnolia tree as well I do love a magnolia tree and my mother-in-law's got a magnolia tree as well so there you go but i don't i don't have space for one they are messy it's true but they are beautiful I do like them. When they come out, they look absolutely amazing. But yeah, they do leave a bit of mess when they drop everything. <laughs> and if you get the slightest bit of is it frost, it just makes them drop. They're just they're quite temperamental, aren't they? <laughs> From what I can guess. Um, right, let's just trim this. I'm really going to have to do my scissors after this. Yeah, take a good few years to flower. Yeah, because all the ones that I can, all the ones like my brothers and my mum and dad's and my mother-in-law's and next doors, they've all been around for many years. I don't know how long it would take actually to get them to flower from from brand new. I suppose it depends on how how big the shoot is, isn't it? I suppose. Oh wow, Shelley! Yeah, they're nice when they're up. There is actually a place in. Um, there's a place in Sutton Coalfield I can think of and it always has really it's got loads of cherry blossom trees all lining the street it's like two roads and they've got cherry blossoms all along them all in pink and white they look amazing when they come out but obviously then when they don't when they drop all their cherry blossom you get like you say all that brown sludge it looks horrible it's a shame because the actual blossom itself looks lovely Okay, so we're going to repeat the process again here. So I'm just going to take. Oh, I've just I know oh, it's fine. I say I've just realised I only needed to put the red tape on two sides, not on all four. But it's fine because we're going to put ribbon around, so we'll hide that tape anyway. So it's not a problem. So my oversight is not a problem. Let's stick that on there like that. And then this goes around here, and that goes on there like that. There we go, and then I'll just add some red tape on the two acetate sides. Um, a camellia, oh, see, so yeah, I like camellias. There's one over the road. I love camellias, and I, I, again, I'd really like a camellia in the back garden, but we don't get enough sunshine, I don't think, in the back garden for it. Although, having said that, the one over the road is is facing the same way as our back garden would be, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that is something I like. Um, you planted a magnolia 20 years ago, maybe when it was two feet tall. It's now 15 feet. Wow. Wow. That's grown a lot. That really has. Oh, I can hear my son. Right, so that's the red tape. Where's the front? There's the front. There's the back, so I need to stick it on the back. Uh, let's just, I'm going to use the other one just to find out how much I need to do. Up there. I don't want to waste ribbon. It's going to be about there. So that's the front, so I need to start at the back. So, on there, peel this off. Hoping you can all see I'm not taking it off camera too much just because it's quite fiddly. Take that under there like that. 
and then round the front like that and then round the side oh i've only just got enough could have done with a bit more ribbon on this one a little bit short but we'll be all right we'll be okay just about makes it Ooh, that is a bit tight Ooh, look at that like half an inch well a quarter of an inch around the side <laughs> okay so that's that one done so that's the second one and then the third one has three just like the front one did so let's get the bottom done uh, a red camellia oh it doesn't like frost really Oh yeah, I suppose I do. I do like them. The one over the road is like a hot pink colour. Absolutely beautiful. It really is beautiful. Um, let's just cut this. Stick this up down. like that and then stick these last three strands on oh. what's your favorite flower as well that's another another question i have for you all what's your favorite flower if you could have any flower at all which one would it be i think so i have a few flav favorites i like a tulip i do like a tulip they don't last very long but i do like them and i like a freesia a lily yes i like lilies i can't have lilies because of my cat but i do love lilies fuchsias yes yes orchids yeah these are all my favorites as well <laughs> these are all my favorites yeah i love a lily i love an orchid i love a fuchsia i have got fuchsias in the garden actually i bought quite a few last year and had them in hanging baskets and they flowered so long they just kept going on and on it was great it was really good i've missed a little bit there we just had a little more on that one pink carnations yeah pink carnations i have to say they do last a very long time they're definitely one of the better flowers to get somebody if you know if you're buying somebody a bunch of flowers then uh, carnations pinks whatever they're they're very good flower to get because they just last they just go on and on and on and on and on you definitely get your value for money for carnations and over here as well they're quite cheap i don't know like where you are but um gerber tulip and rose yeah gerbers are nice as well roses as well yep i like all of them um what's everyone having for tea i don't know i don't know to be honest with you i'm not sure what i'm having for tea um i thought i hadn't thought about it haven't got that far i shall jump that bridge later in the day <laughs> hospital sandwiches bless you poor old mary <laughs> i feel sorry for you oh hospital sandwiches are not the best are they they are not the best deary me chinese takeaway yes please i'm coming around sally <laughs> Oh, I love a Chinese takeaway. We went actually went out for Chinese on Friday night, uh, a local place, which we usually really like, but it was really disappointing. So now I feel a bit lost because that was always the place we went for Chinese. And now I don't really want to go there again because it really wasn't up to much. So it's a bit sad, really. I mean, it might have been just a one-off, I suppose, but we went last May and it was really nice. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, fuchsia carnations need a little water last a long time yeah exactly Rita they're, they're just they're very good aren't they they're just nice flowers to have they really are right Ooh. right this one on the back here so this is my front so the third piece needs to go at the back just so you are aware for when you do yours so you turn this over put that on the back there like that so that's the back i just need to have a quick drink because i'm getting thirsty now so 
tulips are so nice but again with tulips they tend to they don't last very long that's the only problem with tulips but they are nice right let me think about this because i need to you can see all four sides on this one i think i'm going to have to i think the ribbon is going to have to go at the the join will have to go at the back i think so you're not really going to see the back so let's do that just this is for the acetate this piece of tape let's put this acetate on this piece of tape Catering is a bit basic, very basic, Mary. Dear me. Hospital food is awful. I mean, it depends on the hospital, but generally it's awful. Unless you go in private, in which case it's nice. Private hospital food tends to be a lot nicer. But you are paying for it, so it needs to be really, doesn't it? <laughs> it jolly well needs to be. Okay, so let's add this on here like that. Add this on here like that. And this one goes on like that. Oh dear, Ali. Yeah, I have the same problem because I have boys. <laughs> well, I have one boy. <laughs> um, and they like to play football. So I have quite a few of my flowers don't last either. Three, four. Um, and my strawberry plants as well. Uh, Rita, you're going to be having a free afternoon. You have a go. Yep, it's going to be good. Um, I hope it goes well. Make sure you share your pictures of your um, share pictures of your makes, however you can, either on the Google Photos or tag me. Tag me, tag me on FB. Right, let's go around all these three here. And then, oh, oh dear, I went a bit low there. Oh well, that's going to be okay. Let's just go around that corner. That is quite low actually. Let me just take that off. Uh, Shelly, your hospital's great for food. Good. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad you got hospital. I remember when I was in hospital all my days, I had to get my husband to bring food in. Like, order me a pizza and stuff, because it was just awful. <laughs> That's what it was. It was awful. And I think as well, because if, you, if you're in hospital, you're obviously recovering. So you want to be able to eat. But I, I just, uh, there was just nothing I liked. Right, I'm going to hide my join at the back here. And I think I'm going to hide it... Um, I was going to hide it on an edge. Yeah, but then I really need the edge. Oh dear. Or should I hide it at the front? What am I going to put at the front? Can I hide it in front of a button or something? Oh, I think I'll hide it at the front and hide it under whatever my embellishment on the front's going to be. So that's there like that. Round like that. Uh, around there like that. Um, my dies, my dies took, well the last lot that I had took about 20 days because it was their new year. So it took a while, it took a while. So they vary. Um, I think there's somebody new on at the moment because the person who I normally talk to on, the, on email it's not them. So I don't know whether the other person's not there anymore or whether they're just away or what's happening. Um, but it has been a bit different to normal. Okay, so there we go. There's our back one. There's our back piece. So that's going to be my front. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it up with that join. I'm going to cover it up with like a button or... I'm probably going to use buttons actually, I think. Because I've got these gorgeous rose gold buttons that were from... I think they're Dovecraft ones from ages ago. Um... Right, I'm going to go ahead and stick this together now. So we are going to take, that's the back, this one is going to stick on there like that. Now I'd usually use wet glue so I can get it in, into place. However, because I've got that ribbon there, I'm going to need to use red tape. And I'm going to need to get some more red tape out of my drawer 
because I'm running low right now. Right, let's put some over here like this, all the way down to there like that. And trim. These scissors are getting stickier and stickier by the second. And then same with this one here. Oh, let's put that one on there like that. Go all the way down. Oh, all the way down here like that. And then trim. There we go. Right. So I wonder if I should take the whole thing off. No, I'm going to do it gradually. Let me do it gradually. Because I'm a bit concerned with um, the fact that I think this is going to stick in the wrong place. So I'm not too careful. Right, so I'm going to peel a little bit off there. And then we want to line up the base of this one with the base of this one. That's different once you've really got bouncy bits. <laughs> right, I'm actually going to stand it up, I think. Mm. This red tape is making it a little bit tricky. Let me grab it from there and grab that from there. That's better. Here we go. Right, let's line those up there. And then bring them up like that and just stick those two together at the bottom. And then we're going to pull this red tape liner out. Stick that there like that. Pull this red tape liner out. There we go. And then there we are. There we go. Obviously because it's red tape I can't really stick it very well. A little cemetery of red tape liner over here. It's all sticking to me. Get off! Get off! Oh gosh, there we are. Right, okay, so there's two. There's two two bits. And then I'm going to stick the other one on the front. So this is this one. So that's going to go on the front there. I really like the acetate. I'm really liking this vase. I think this is probably the best one I've made so far. This is beautiful, this is. I love this foiled rose gold but well, i need to quickly get some more tape because as you can see i don't have much you quickly get some more tape bear with us everybody talk amongst yourselves uh some red tape somewhere oh no wrong box i need to get the other box oh oh looking around trying to get me the tape out here it is there we go Russell, Russell. There we go. Red tape. Hurrah. Right. Where were we? That's right. Sticking red tape down. Let me just take this backing off. Uh, what's everybody else having for dinner? Are oh, you ordered yours on the 5th, Rita? Um... Okay, so the 5th of January, what are we on now? The 21st. Yeah, so that's probably about right. That's probably about right. So I reckon in the next four or five days, you should get them, hopefully. As I said, I ordered mine and it took 20 days for them to come, which is longer than it has done previously. But I know that it was Chinese New Year. So I think that's probably what the, that was probably the, 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 the problem with it. And um, that's why it took so long. So yeah, I reckon I reckon you should definitely have them before the end of the month. Definitely have them before the end of the month. Probably rather about the 25th, 26th, something like then. Hopefully. Hopefully. If you haven't, then just drop them an email and maybe see. Oh, here comes my son. Almost. My son's getting impatient. He wants me to finish my live stream. <laughs> I'm making it as quickly as I can. I can't go any quicker than this. Right, uh, shepherd's pie. Oh, I don't like shepherd's pie. I'm not a big. <laughs> I can't do shepherd's pie. I can't do. It's because of the mince. No, it's not because. Of... It's the mince and it's the uh, mash. Can't do mashed potato. Uh, but I know that everyone. I know people do like shepherd's pie. Right, let's stick this down. We're almost there. Whoop, whoop. Um. The tracking number isn't recognised. No, I had that as well. Don't worry, I had that as well. I had that. I would just email them. Um, well, leave it till the, about the 25th. And then if you haven't had it by the 25th, then email them. But 
as I said, it has been their new year and I think they've had a bit of a backlog because obviously I've been promoting and I know they've got other people who are also promoting the goods. So they've probably had a few orders and they've also had sales on as well. So they would have had even more orders, I would have thought. Um, so they're probably on a bit of a backlog. So I would definitely buy, um, by the 25th, I reckon you probably would have had them. Right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to definitely going to stick buttons on the front here. I was thinking about putting the buttons on the flaps as well, but I don't know whether that's going to be too much. So I'm definitely going to put them there because I feel like that would be good. Let's use some pin flare silicon glue. This is my new favourite friend at the moment. Um, cheese and potato pie. Oh, pancakes. Yes, yes, we're doing pancakes. I'm going to have a go at making some souffle pancakes because my son says that my pancakes are disgusting. So we are not having those. He's nodding. <laughs> We're not having those. Although I like normal pancakes. But anyway, I've seen a um, a recipe for souffle pancakes. And um, they're like American pancakes, basically. And I know my, my husband likes American pancakes. So hopefully that'll be a winner. Um, you're eating vegan three days a week. Oh, wow. Your future daughter-in-law is vegan. Wow, that's a bit of a commitment. I couldn't i couldn't do vegan vegetarian i'd struggle but vegan no that's not happening <laughs> that's not happening that is not happening i couldn't do that at all i love my dairy too much right one two and then yeah i think i will just do i think i'm going to do but oh yeah i'm going to do buttons on all of it i need to get i need to get some more buttons out i'm not short of them I need to get some more out so let's just put these on here the trick is going to be making sure these are straight there we go and then right i think the side flaps you can't see what i'm seeing this is what i'm seeing it's the front view and i'm thinking about putting buttons on all those flaps I think I am going to put, I'm going to do it. I know it could be a bit overkill, but I'm going to go for it because otherwise those flaps, you can't really see them very well. So yeah, it does need buttons. It needs buttons all over. Carbonara with linguine and spaghetti bolognese. Oh, lovely. That sounds nice. No pancakes, you don't like them. Yeah, not everyone does. Not everybody does. Um, and also those of you who do like pancakes, what toppings do you like on your pancakes? I like syrup and lemon. Yum, yummy, yum. Right, let me quickly get more um, thingy bobs, more buttons. More buttons out of my box. Um, I think. Uh, my mum's got a pink Camilla in her front yard, all loaded with flowers. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. One, two. I think I just need two extra. Lemon and sugar. Yeah, I have to say there are days when I just want lemon and sugar. I can't be doing with like Nutella and all that kind of business on my pancakes. I don't know. For me, it doesn't really work as a pancake topping. I think because I've always been brought up on syrup. Syrup and lemon. Not much syrup though, just a little bit, just to make it a little bit sweeter. Maple syrup. Ooh. Now, see, yeah, see, I like thin pancakes, Valerie, as well. I like thin pancakes, but I am going to try with this new souffle pancake because they look quite nice. They're all fluffy and puffy and light and mm, yummy. They look yummy anyway. I haven't tried them, so I'm <laughs> saying they're yummy, but I haven't tried them yet. Um, you only eat that with a spoon. <laughs> uh, that's like me with Biscoff. I only eat Biscoff with a spoon. That's hilarious. Um... Strawberry compote on crepes are my favourite. Now, I actually could do that. I actually could do that. That sounds nice. Um, actually, strawberry with like whipped cream on or some kind of cream would be nice, I think. I could see that would be good. Um, yes, Karen, exactly. You're probably thinking of the Easter basket that I actually did it on my channel. It was an Easter basket idea. A few people have done them. It's really nice. Slatted, slatted basket. Um, in Sweden, it's Semeldagen excuse me if i have pronounced that wrong and the day we eat oh cardamom buns filled with almond paste and whipped cream oh now i could be up for that 
I could be up for that. I do love a bit of almond. Oh yeah, that sounds nice. That sounds very nice. Maple syrup, but lemon and sugar sounds delicious. Love lemon. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, I do. I could definitely be tempted with the strawberry compote. That could definitely be a winner. Right, I've gone a bit buttons, but I think it works. So there we go. Let me turn it around so you guys can hopefully see. We try and angle it. There we go. That's worked out really nice. I like the look of that. Butter, pecan syrup and butter. Wow. Pecan syrup sounds nice. Pecans, maple syrup. I have to say pecans, maple syrup and pancakes. Sounds very nice. Loads of syrup and butter. Oh, yeah. Right. You're probably not seeing this very well. Just try and take a picture. Well, I will take a picture of it to upload as the, um, the uh, what's it? The uh, thumbnail picture. That's the word I'm looking for. But in real life. I don't know how well you're seeing this on the screen. In real life, this looks amazing. <laughs> I really like the acetate. The foiled acetate is really doing it. And the fact that the... Um... No, no, don't press anything. Oh, someone's pressing things. Don't press anything. Um... Yeah, it's on. Um, sorry, my son's messing with something now. So if I lose you all, you'll have to bear with. Oh, he's fiddling with quality settings. Um, right. Oh, yes. Oh, he's fiddled with quality settings and made it all sharp and lovely. Thank you, son of mine. I can see. Right, for those of you having fuzzy problems, my son's just solved my quality so he can solve your quality. If you click on your screen, obviously, assuming you're not on a PC, show it. click on the top right-hand corner. Oh, yeah, he said to show it. Hang on a second. Let me quickly show you the box. This is the box. Pretty first. The acetate looks fabulous. I really do like the box. I think, that's, I think the acetate really does do it for me it's really pretty um and i think as well I'm, the one i'm going to do on the video i'm going to use vellum because again i think vellum would work really well so um i'm impressed with that and I, I didn't like this paper as well with the fairies but i don't mind them being on the inside right let me bring this in hang on let me just bring the screen in then no, no, we need to go back a second oh okay he's just having a fiddle with my thing so on the screen so this is my screen obviously let me just put my pin out of the way so it's not going to get muddled up so on here if you click on the, let me hold it up a little bit. If you click on the screen, this little settings button comes up. You click on the cog and you click on quality. Click on that top one that says quality and then click on advanced and go to 720. Oh no, did you click 720? Yeah, 720. Okay. And then if you see, can you see how better my screen looks now? So those of you having problems with quality, that's what you need to do. Okay, that looks amazing. Thank you, son, for fiddling with my tablet, even though I told you not to. Thank you for disobeying me on this one occasion. Right, <laughs> so there you go. Right, so there you go, everybody. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, actually. I, I'm really impressed. The other one I like, but this one is definitely beating it hands down right now. This one's nice. I like this one, but I, I think I prefer the rose gold. I love that foiled acetate and it was one of them where it was a bit too nice to cut into but actually I'm glad I did because it's it's just wow is what it is it's wow so yeah he is he is a genius he just pointed out that comment because he, <laughs> he is a genius absolutely 13 year old technology technology genius this one um you set mine on auto. Oh, okay. And why do you adjust automatically? Yeah, mine was on auto originally, was it? Was it yeah, auto originally. But yeah, if you uh, change it to 720, it'll make it really sharp. Um, they are, Cindy, they are. Kids are very wonderful and knowledgeable. He's going red now. He's nodding and going red. <laughs> uh, Rita, yours is already set for that. Okay, that's good. You like both, Rita. That's good. Shelly, yours was on auto. Exactly, mine was too, and it was rubbish. Absolutely the same. Thank you, Karen. Son to the rescue, uh, it, indeed. It is a wow mate, this one. It is, and I'm glad I had a go at it, because I said I saw it, and I was like, oh, that's really nice. So it was Lawrence Pasquia. It's spelled, her, it's spelled L -A -U -R -E -N -C -E, and then the surname is P-A-S-Q-U-I-E-R. So that's who I saw do it, anyway. But, yeah, it's... um very stunning and i think i'm going to be doing other versions of this because i can see you see this tall one here if you did a tall one but made it slightly wider that would be nice just as a one with all four 
you know bits all around the different sides so i'm gonna have a go at that as well so stay tuned for that one that's going to be coming up soon but yeah so there you go everybody right i am going to disappear off another little um before i go don't forget if you want to become a member please do thank you to all of my members especially my new ones who have joined recently you guys are amazing um i keep meaning to do a little welcome video for everyone who's a, a member but um i keep forgetting so uh <laughs> Well, it's not even forgetting it's a case of having time really but um but yeah so if you want to become a member please do i am going to be increasing my tears soon not crying my t-i-e-r-s t-i-e-r that's right i spelled that right um but i just need to have the time to be able to do it so um oh now you can put two on the other side yeah well this is the other thing cindy you see you could do a five you could do a five you know what for christmas that would look quite nice if you can get like um a battery a battery operated tall candle you could do candles in them and have one two three and then the four and the five that would look nice um yeah so sort of like equivalent to like that but obviously without the tall one next to it yeah that would look good that would look very nice indeed right i am going to run away because my son um wants me to so <laughs> I'm going to do a runner. So yeah, don't forget, yeah, thumbs up, please. Thank you very much for everyone who's already thumbs up. Thank you for joining me, everybody. And I will see you next week. Next week, we'll be back to normal as far as no half-term holidays. Um, Yeah, mind you, today's been good. He's been good. He hasn't interrupted very much, so he's been good. So that's good. Right, have a good day, everybody. Enjoy your pancakes, those of you who are eating them. I'm going to take you off the ceiling Ooh, and uh, bring you down. You can have a proper look there we go excuse the mess on my desk but yeah proper look in fact let me just unplug my power there we go and then we can do a proper a proper look at both of them there we go. you can see all the mess behind my desk right i'm going to say toodles and i'll see you next time bye everybody